This is uh, this is really fun. We're doing a segment for Nerdist that we call Celebrity D&D, where we have celebrities play Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, I heard about and this. So, yeah. What we're doing? Yeah, we're Rage. taking you on a D&D adventure. Woo! Serious? No sh. Hi, Riley. Hello, Hello Riley. Riley. What's up, Hi, guys? How are you doing? Doing okay. How yeah. you doing, Nathan? How you doing? You I'm doing, doing okay? good. These days are always so exciting. I get to see your faces, and I get we got we get to talk about this project like show and tell because I'm very excited for the world to see it. I'm excited to have a piece of it, and just mm. seeing your faces reminds me of the time I had filming it, which was fun. Oh my God, no, no kidding. The time I love my job. I love my well, job. Well, <laughs> we're gonna do a brief break from the show and tell here because I, do y'all know what we're doing here for this segment of the of the the junk? Yeah. Okay, this is uh this is really fun. We're doing a segment for Nerdist that we call Celebrity D and D, where we have celebrities play Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, I heard about and this. So, <laughs> yeah, what we're doing? Yeah, we're Rage. taking you on a D and D adventure. Woo! Serious? No. Sh <laughs> oh, Rooker, have you done this? Okay. I've never played this game before. You're going to be so good at oh, this. Oh, well, now you'll never be able to say again, I haven't played D&D. &D. Right. So, Michael, the way it's going to work, basically, is yeah. I'm going to lead you on an improvised adventure that okay. is going to use dice as a randomizer. Now, I don't know if they gave you dice rollers. If they didn't, that's fine. I can roll dice for you. That's, All that's right. what you we can do. You can roll for me. This is this is going to be wild. It's going to be random. We're going to see where it goes, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have fun. I hope y'all have fun too. Let's do so, it. Let's play. What are you waiting for? Come on. So I got three characters for you. You're all going to be goblins because I thought that was fitting for what's happening with 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 today and what we're talking about. So I think Michael, I'm going to give you the barbarian. That's the that's kind of the easiest one. It's just brute strength. You're going to be the tough guy. You're going to be the guy who's got a lot of like strength and you're going to use a lot of force for your decision making. Is that, do you think you can handle that? That's what I do in normal life, so I'm good. And then I got a, a rogue and a druid. So which one of you wants to cast some magic? Nathan, pick it. I want to, I want I'm the druid. Okay, Nathan's a druid and Flula, you're going to be the rogue. So I'm going to, um, I'll roll for y'all. I have your sheets in front of me. We're pretty simple, stripped down version of the game. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to put a series of scenarios in front of you. I'll let you, you'll kind of improv, improvise as your characters. And then we will figure out what's going to happen from there. So first thing I want you to do is to think of a name for your character. So Michael, what's the name of your barbarian goblin? Uh, uh, how about Arnold? Arnold, got it. You are now Arnold the Goblin. Perfect. All right, Nathan, what do you got for me for your druid? Jolene. Jolene? Yeah, Jolene. It's Jolene Glaplock. Jolene, Jolene Glaplock. Glaplock. Yeah, don't take my band though, okay? All right, and then, <laughs> and then Flua, what we got for you for your uh, your your rogue? My my robe? Rogue, you're like a, you're like a, like think of like a goblin, like essentially a suicide squad. Rogue. You're a rogue, you're a, you're a scoundrel. You, you sneak I'm around. An adventurer. You yeah. I've just taken a shower, and so I'm just... Rogues don't take it's showers. It's a robe. Your yeah. character no, you're a robe. A robe. Like rogues Fuck gallery. Her. Like Adventure name. So lots of robes. Okay, uh, Bloopsy is the name of my robe. Bloopsy okay. is spelled with two zeros, not O's, and there's not an E. It's B-L-0-0-P-S-I. Like okay. pound per square inch. Bloopsy the robe. Bloopsy. Okay, Bloopsy the robe. I, I'm 100% cotton. So. Okay, I'm gonna start you. I, I'm playing a character to begin with. I'll be playing any characters you encounter throughout the, the little mini campaign we're gonna do here. So okay. the first character that you're gonna meet from me is a character named Clark. Clark is your boss. He is what's called a bugbear. He's kind of like a bigger, hairier goblin. He's about six foot tall, just covered in fur, nasty old pointy ears. He's always wearing like nasty, just like armor that's probably stolen from somebody else's dead body at some point, never cleaned he, afterwards. So he smells, he's got a scent about him. We sense him before he gets there, right? Yeah, he has a musk. Yeah, you know you know Ooh. that Clark smell. You're you're hanging out in the goblin break room. You know when the boss is coming. You don't have yeah, to like- I got that. I got skunked two times in a row in one night. So I know how that smells. Oh. I, was there, I was there for that. That was- We're there that night, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. So Sailed. Clark has called you into his office, which is just a cave. And he says, I gotta, I got a mission for you. Oh, oh Clark, do it. Oh, so and so. I do the secret handshake. And oh, slip of the gold coin from the bet we had last week. And, uh, and I'm like, no. All right. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, I'm going to have you, I'm, I'm going to roll for you on that. I'm going to have a, uh, you slip, you're slipping him a coin. So yeah. I'm going to have you do what's called a sleight of hand check. So okay. I'm going to roll 
a d20. Let's see what happens. See what happens here. We're going to add a one. Your sleight of hand is plus one. So we're going to see how well you are able to slip this coin in without your, your friends seeing it. All right, so you rolled a 12. I'm going to say it's pretty smooth, but if anyone's looking, I'm going to say especially uh, our friend Bloopsy here with uh, Bloopsy's perception as, as a rogue, as someone who is good at keeping an eye on things. Bloopsy, you notice a, a coin just exchanged hands between, between your buddy here and your boss. What do you think about that? Hey, uh, Jolene and also Clog, I observated a coin. What denomination? And may I have a piece? Oh, don't even worry about it. That's just a little thing. I lost a bet to uh, Clark last week. I'm just paying up. Great. Sounds good. Listen, Clark, we're all hard up for a little cash, if you know what I mean. And uh, we need a job. What do you all got right. for it? Here's the job. We got these uh, We got these two idiots coming by on a horse. There's a, there's a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker and uh, his buddy Sildar. They're carrying some goods. I need you to kidnap them then bring them back here. So you want the you want the humans and the dwarf back? Yeah, don't the kill them. Well, do we, we get to keep the goods? Yeah, catch them alive. If you, if you need any goods they're carrying, you, but they have a map, I need the map. Oh, I you need the map, the map but we can and the living dwarf, goods, right? Uh, the rest, rest of it, you do whatever you want with. Oh, excellent. Oh, but right. I gotta right. warn you. Yeah. They got yeah. some buddies coming down the the road after them. You ain't gonna be able to handle them. So you want to get them kidnapped and get back here quickly. Oh. Uh. How many buddies they got coming? Uh, probably about three or four. Oh, God, you shit. Too Come many. On. That's too many for us. We're just gone. Three or four buddies? Ah, ah, ah. Three or four is just getting me warmed up. We got honored on our team. I He's like just going to eat us, guys. I want, this, I want this mission going oh smooth. I don't want anybody getting hurt. You're going right. to have maybe, to maybe add maybe 30 more to that, and then we're, then we're thinking here. Then we're cooking. Yeah. Oh, well, let's go get it. Right, well, on. I don't want a, a, a road full of bodies. I want two people brought back here a lot. That's what I well, want. You're, you're cutting out all the fun, kiddo. That's the fun part, leaving the bodies. <laughs> Arnold, Please. Arnold, Arnold, relax. Listen. Woo. We, yeah, sell down. We, we, <laughs> this is a surgical strike. I know just what to do. This well, you, surgical strikes aren't my deal. You go do your surgical strikes. You come I'll, with me. You got to I'll, I'll watch your shift. back come door. On, we're gonna, let's, get, let's get out of here. We got these guys are coming right now. We got to go. I'll watch your back yeah, door. Time Let is of the essence here. Look, yeah, they're gonna. They'll probably. They'll probably chase you here, and then you can kill them all you want. All right, we're, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready to hit this mission. Okay, great. Let's do it. I've done this before. It's called the switcheroo. Okay. With my druid magic. I okay. just create a path. It's basically a side path in the road on the in the woods, and I obscure the actual road. So where they're actually going, they yeah. will be diverted into an ambush where we await them. I will help you. I will. My robe will hide the other path. Beautiful. Perfect. We're gonna use. We're gonna let's let's use. Let's go with that. We're gonna go with that idea. Use your robe to help obscure yeah. the other path. <laughs> Yeah. I will divert with my magics. I'll, I'll, I'll create a path, make them think that they're on the right path. Yeah. Oh, and then, beautiful. Should and I then jump out? Although, should I jump them, out and create a diversion? Once they're past, I want you to get that rope down so that if their buddies come, their, their buddies are they're gone. They can't even if they want to help. You know what I mean? Oh, but why, I, I don't get to fight them. They don't get to follow us. I'm going to mm -hmm. jump out, create a diversion, and allow them to follow us after you guys move on forward. Yeah, and they'll Great. follow me, and then when we get them back to where we need to have them, I get to kill them. Okay, and then uh, then I'll open up my road. Okay, yeah. wait. So if I if I understand the plan here, the yes. plan yeah. is that Jolene, you are going to create a fake path to trick them. Yes. And Bloopsy, you're going to essentially flash them out of your robe, and then yeah. when you're doing that, Arnold, you're going to jump out and you're going to attack them. Well, he's I'm using gonna, his robe to obscure them, yeah. the other path. You're using the robe. Okay, so your robe is like camouflage. Extra. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But I'm okay, going to jump yeah. out and and cause a diversion after he's created his path, and they will follow me after these guys scurry along after they've kidnapped the guy. Eventually, okay. they, the guys gotcha. think they're okay. going on the right path anyway. We're not really kidnapping. We're just tricking them, right? Okay. Yeah. And and then I will open my robe. I will open it, and everyone can watch. Oh yeah. So. You open it, and they will come. Oh, but field okay. of dreams. It's my field of dreams. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so y'all head down. Uh, there is there's a path that leads to this clearing where these these people are going to be coming through. So, uh, Jolene, how are you? What are you doing magic wise to redirect this path? 
Uh, it's it's. I'm calling on my my abilities uh, as a druid to uh, influence the growth of plants and trees. I'm going right. to uh, open a path and kind of use that energy to kind of balance out. And because you got to take and give energy when you when you're dealing with plants, so I'm basically going to just pull some growth from one area. I'm landscaping is what I'm going to okay. do. Okay. You have a spell that is on your sheet that is called Entangle. And what that spell usually does is let plants grow up that will grab people and pull them oh. and hold them in place. So yes. I'm going to say that you cast your spell of Entangle. And what that does is it causes a block in the path so that if people come through, they get caught up in it. So they're going to try to go around oh. that to avoid yeah. that, right? Nice. This is working out great. What's my role? And then Bloopsy. Yes. You are what describe your robe. You are you're a big fan of this robe. So what does it look like to you? What do you describe what Bloopsy looks like and what his robe looks like? A Bloopsy is a robe uh, which is has some loopies, some loopies where you can put the rope around so you can hide all of the downtown places. Uh, and then but if you want to show that or if you just want to you know, spread spread the wings and fly away, you can just open it up and then that is a magic power because I have a robe. Okay, we'll say it's a stealth check because you are you were trying to disguise yourself and hide as if you are a, a bit of path that's blocking the way, but you're actually a robe. A great yes, choice. that's correct. I'm a robe. Okay. Great. So you are a robe. We have that. Definitely. You are okay. you're a bloopsy okay. the robe. Um, are you made of terry cloth? What are you made of? I'm made of, you know, have you uh, slept before in a sleeping bag? I have slept in a sleeping bag, yes. Flannel. He's a flannel robe. So flannel kinda... robe. Yeah, I think early 90s Nirvana concert, unbuttoned uh, shirts. That is oh. that is my robe. Flannel you're shirt, right. got it. Now, like right a sleeping bag, is it is it also down? Is there down filled? Is oh, there feathers in it? I'm down for anything. As, as his robe... <laughs> I will whatever you want. It's happening. That is that's, that is delightful. That's my bloopsy. That's my bloopsy. That's Come what on. bloopsy do, as Come they on. say. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make for you, uh, bloopsy. I'm gonna make a stealth check to see how well you are able to pass yourself off as a bit of foliage, uh, so that okay. people think there's not a road there. <laughs> okay. So you're, you're stealth. You have proficiency in stealth, being a a rogue robe. You have a plus five to this roll. I'm gonna roll a d20. We're gonna see what you got here. Okay. And Bloopsy, you yes. just got what we call in Dungeons and Dragons a natural twenty, which hey, means oh, that on a twenty yeah. sided <laughs> dice, double twenty or some shit like that, right? I can tell you why I know this. My dad and my mom zero work done, both natural tens. So that does make sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I can see that. Nothing so possible. you you that are shockingly good at passing as nature <laughs> for being a sentient a robe. robe. You yeah. somehow, even though you're made of flannel, you just Thank happen you. to have the exact right color of this natural trail. Just the flannel that you have has little bits of green and some brown in it. So these people coming up, they think that there's just a bunch of bushes and stuff there. It's just a robe. It's little, just a robe. It's just you don't even know. Okay. You have created a robe. Now you, uh, Jolene, you have created some tangled up weeds. Now, Arnold, this might be your time to shine. We have got ourselves two people riding horses here. You're a big, strong, tough dude. What are you gonna do about it? How are you gonna capture them? I'll capture them. Keep them alive. Well, no, I just jump on in between the horses. I grab their reins, their mouthpieces, and I put them in a semi half headlock and I lead them my way. The All way right. All right, I, I like this move. I'm gonna give you what's called a, I'm gonna have you roll for strength because you're strong, you're big, you're beefy. And uh, because you are a barbarian, you get a special ability called rage. And when you use your rage, you get to add, you get to roll with advantage on strength checks, which means that you, I'm gonna roll the dice for you twice and take right. the higher of the two rolls. This makes so much sense. All right, Wait. so we're gonna roll this. So Riley, I'm rolling Riley, you're Riley, while you're rolling, where are you from? I've heard the delicious word y'all emanate from you. Please tell me your origins. I am from the state of Ohio. That's not a very y'all place. The Midwest is fairly up. Buckeye State, that's correct. Are you from the are you from Ohio, Michael? I'm uh Chicago. I, oh, okay. I'm from Midwest. Ohio. I'm All right. Chicago as well. All right, let's see here. I've traveled many times to your state. It's it's a delightful state. We've got uh chili and stuff. It's good. Uh Michael, you got yourself a, uh, I, I rolled a 16 on the dice, plus your strength, which is a three. So you've got yourself a 19. So I'm gonna say you succeeded and you were able to slam these two guys heads together and pull them off the horses. And they are now in your custody. And now uh, 
What are you going to do next? Well, to celebrate, I'm making some of that famous Ohio chili to feed Arnold. Yeah, it's excellent. We, we get a little funnel and put it down their put it down their gullets, and then they fill up their bellies. Their bellies are all filled up, and then they uh, we use the gases that occur afterwards to speed us along. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is why we have a druid. This is why we have a druid. Keep these guys on task. Look, guys, Clark gave us a job. He oh. wants the map, and he wants what? the dwarf. Okay, got what about them? Got everything they have. First of all, I want them tied up, and we need them searched. You I want to tie that. them up before we feed them. But Jolene, they're, fla they're flatulating now, Jolene. They're like <laughs> two of the dogs uh -huh. from never ending story. They're just out of control. Okay, Jolene, I'm going to ask you as a druid, how are you, uh, you going to tie these guys up so you can search them? Well, listen, we've got those vines from the entanglement right back there. I'm just going to I'm just going to grab a couple of those. They're very strong. They've been imbued with magic. So I'm just going to wrap them up with those kinds of things. Uh, I'm not going to do it personally. I'm going to have Arnold do it. He's hog -tied. I'll just he grab them by their ankles, flip them upside down, and I shake them and all the shit comes out. Yeah. OK. Yeah. OK. All right. I'm going to roll for robe. I'm going to roll for both of you. I'm going to roll. For Jolene, I'm going to roll to see how well you're able to re, uh, repurpose. repurpose these vines as now ropes that you're going to tangle with. I'm going to say that's a survival roll, and you are proficient in survival, so you're going to get a plus four on this roll. So let's see what you get here. That is an 18, so you are successfully able to take those those ropes. I think you might want to give them to, uh, to Bloopsy, because if anyone knows how to use threads... It's, it's right. a robe, right? right? Yes. So, Ropes and loops and tying things up. You're absolutely right. Yes. Let's put the, yes. the skills going to be used. And I while you're doing you that, your buddy, uh, your buddy Arnold is shaking this human and this dwarf, and you're shaking them up, trying to see if anything falls out of their pockets. Let's see oh, what you got here. Everything will come out. All right. So you got a 17 this time on the. Uh, sorry, you got an 18 this time on your roll to shake them out. So you do indeed find a map. You also find the recipe for good old fashioned Ohio style Cincinnati chili. Uh, you find yourself a really fancy belt that might look nice with a good robe. It's not the belt. You know, like when you find a bro, you're like, you know, this isn't the belt that because you're always losing the belts that come with robes, right? Always. But now you have a new replacement belt. Woo! Oh, bam. And I what give a wonderful day. Thank it's you, funny. Arnold. Thank you. And I'm excited to cook this very delicious uh, Columbus based chili. <laughs> no, no, not Ohio. Idaho. As far as next <laughs> steps go, because guys, it, it feels like we've kind of achieved our goal. We've done everything except for hand these two guys over with the map, which was which was part yeah, of the Yeah, now we gotta proceed, right? Now, I'm just wondering now, do we first maybe we talk to these guys and say, what's up? Why? Okay, I does oh. someone want this map and why does someone want this dwarf so so bad oh, what's I like that maybe we can play two angles here i mean if it's worth our knowing this information maybe we can hold the other folks that we're delivering them to a little bit in ransom and we can get a little bit more money out of it. great uh, let's play I, i've heard of this role a good robe bad robe i'll, I'll, be, <laughs> I'll be good robe yeah, hey you guys, need robe, I'll be bad robe. I can be have like robe. a little uh, robe as well. Maybe okay. Not like a robe, but a really scratchy kind of animal covering or something. Oh, okay. I'm going to say you're making what's called an intimidation check because you're playing bad robe and you're trying to scare them with your strength. And you've oh, got, yeah. I'm also giving you advantage on this roll, which means I'm going to roll twice and take the better of the two rolls because you got your good robe here helping you out and adding to the intimidation techniques. So, um, this is really good teamwork on, on all three of your parts, I want to say, by the way. Thank, thank you. Of course. I, we, yeah. we are. We are a team. All right. Well, uh, we got another 18 on the dice for that one. We got 15 Damn. plus three. So uh, you, the guy, you, you are shaking this dwarf. Uh, he was knocked out, but you actually shake him so much playing bad road that you wake him back up again. Uh, I think it's the, I think it's the smell of that skunk that you got on you. Wakes, it's like, it's like smelling salts. Brings him right back up again, and uh, he's like, "What do you want with us?" Well, you know what I need to do. I, I need to like give him a little squeeze. Ooh. I gotta squeeze their little heads. And squeeze out all the information they have. So, so your plan is to crush his head uh, yeah, to get the information inside of it. Crush. I'm not. I don't mean crush. I mean just squeeze. Yes. Your plan is esca slowly escalating torture. 
Yes. Well, you already got a pretty high intimidation, so I'm not going to make you re-roll for this. I think that this is successful. I think this is a pretty solid strategy. I know that if, if a big burly goblin grabbed me and started squeezing my head for a long period of time, I would be pretty yeah. intimidated. Well, what do you want to know? We want to know... Who, who, uh, who, who's uh, yeah, we want to know we all about the map. Whose map is it? Where does it lead to? What's at the end of the map? The what money. You know? Money is at the end why of the map. They, why does someone want it? We might be able to get more money from we from both parties. Oh, and while you guys question, I'll be on the floor with my robe open, and then you can just hold his head, and the answers will squeeze and drizzle into into the robe <laughs> while you're talking. Typical yeah. interrogation scene that we've seen a yeah. thousand times. You're right, a thousand Definitely. times. Yeah, and you've seen it CSI once, you've seen it over and over again. And right? PD Blue season two, episode four. Hello. <laughs> Where do you think Bloopsy came from? All right. So, Jolene, you started asking some questions, right? What, what, what's your first question? Because the other two are, are on the they're on the brute strength aspect of it. But you seem to be the one who has actual questions to ask. So I, I, I want to know, what is the importance of this map? Where does it lead? Why mm. do why does someone want you so badly? What's I want to know what's going on. Yeah. This is the map to uh, the lost mine of Fandelver. My family is the Fandelver. Van Delver, yeah. Uh, oh. Doi. Okay, now why do we need, then why do, if we have the map, why do we need the dwarf? What's so important about you? Well, you need my blood to open the, to open the mine, so. Ah, that's easy. Easy. <laughs> I'm catching it right oh, now. Oh, fresh Squeeze blood. It. No, you can't just kill me and bottle it now and take it to, no, that's not how that works. No, <laughs> you got to keep me alive. Oh, oh, that's okay. We'll keep you alive. We don't even have to kill you after we take your blood. Guys, 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 huddle up, huddle up. Listen, we bring this work. map and this dwarf in to our boss, uh, Glaplock. Clark. 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 Yeah. Bloopy's Glaplock. Well, anyway, no, Jolene, you're Glaplock. That's your, that's your last name. Right. Oh, okay. Come that's closer. That name so, sounds so familiar. Okay, come closer so we can whisper. Think Italian filmmaker. We'll, we'll make a little bit of money for handing these guys in the map over. I think right. we could make a lot more money for whatever the map leads to and whatever his yes. this elf this dwarf's blood opens. I think our best plan agree. Is to just so we it. do we we go oh, along man. with it until we decide okay, we're gonna take whatever's in this mine and uh, take it for mm -hmm. ourselves. Yeah. I'm on board. I think this okay, is great. Arnold. I think you've got this. And then, and, and then I'm going to open up my, my robe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. yeah. <laughs> I think this is the plan. I think we're all playing to our strengths here. Okay, okay break, okay. break. Okay, so the plan, the plan that I understand I'm is that fine. you're going you're gonna to go to the mine yourselves. And no, no, no. We're in? going to the mine with everyone. Yeah, we're okay. Bringing, we're bringing him along. We've got to bring along that dwarf because we need his blood. We know and you're going to open your robe. Gotcha. I'm going to okay. open my robe just to be clear. Okay. I'm going to say that in the time that you have spent uh, talking about this, you have eaten up the clock of when uh, Gundren and his buddies backup are coming, but for the three or four people that you were warned about earlier, we're going to wrap this up with a little bit of combat. And so they have now arrived. They are pulling a big old cart. So you've got four people that are running up to you and they, they have found the, the two horses on the ground that you've pulled these guys off of. And yeah. now they're running towards you with swords and arrows and they're ready to go. What do you do? I open up a rope. Uh, he opens his rope. I take a running leap and I turn as a, as a log and I roll right underneath their feet and knock them off their feet. And okay. then I'll jump on top of them and, and uh, subdue them. Okay. I am going to start with you then. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we, that's right here. Yeah, so we actually had, uh, that was only an eight to attack. So, uh, oh, no so problem. Arnold, you go for it. But I think what happens is you slip on a little bit of mud, you go right down into the dirt and you don't manage to make your, your bowling pin strategy work out with these guys. Jolene, what's your attempt? What are you going to try to do to stop these guys? You, by the way, you're, you can attack, you can do your entangle, or you actually have a magic stick that you can attack with that's pretty tough, and you also have the ability to, to use a whip of thorns to attack if you want to do that, Jolene. Wait, oh my god, you guys saved my ass. Woo! I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to start right in there with that whip of thorns. I think All it's right. or a little bit of, uh, make sure something, it smarts. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. And then I, I'll open up my robe. 
You got yourself that that robe is open. That robe closes and opens again. It's a real revolver. It's a revolving door with this robe here. Exactly. And uh, so I am gonna say you get advantage on this attack because of that robe. So let's go ahead and say, all right, yeah, you got yourself an 18 to attack with the magic thorn whip. So I say you describe for me, Nathan, how how Jolene throws this whip out and how it takes down one of these people. Well, it, it, it's kind of a swirling motion, but when it when it when it goes out, what we're getting is one of those wrap around, and I'm getting like a full wrap on four guys. And if I because they're distracted, they're looking down at Arnold right now. And as I as it uh, as I'm pulling, it's also contracting, so it's it's scraping those stinging nettles. Okay, yeah, I think with that roll that you got with the with the uh, the help you were getting from your robe buddy here, and uh, right. and from the aid of Arnold uh, just eating it right in front of them, yeah. I think that you got it. I think you succeeded. So I think yeah. you have now managed to wrap up these four people, and they are now wrapped up in a, a thorn whip. And what do you want to do with them? I'm going to say, Arnold, we can't afford these guys coming after us again, so. Oh, well, please. They're all wrapped up. Now all I have to do is just step on their little noggins. Oh, I was going right. to say, say, just talk to them and convince them not to follow talk us. To yeah, them. you do your thing. You, I'm not, not going to micromanage. I think, I think you're saying that, Jolene, as Arnold has already stepped on one of their heads. Oh, no. Yeah. And just, that, okay, well, well now like we can't have witnesses. No. Well, they're little grapes anymore. They're no, they're no longer your heads would think. I feel a little helpless to stop what's already kind of happening, and he's, yeah. it looks like he's having so much fun. Yeah. We cannot have so. witnesses. Okay, so I will. I've killed. I will kill myself with my rope. So I've now suffocated myself. No, you're good. Oh wow. <laughs> no, not, uh, you're good. You're good. When I say, everybody, drop your weapons. Yeah, the assumption is that you're on my team, you guys keep your weapons. Oh, but I'm uh, technically I'm a witness. If I were to testify, I see. So I should. Uh, <laughs> well, because, because we're goblins, you can't be to testify against them. All right, I, I believe that what happened here was that slowly uh, Arnold worked his way through popping the heads off each of these people that were being held up by Jolene's thorn whip. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Bloopsy, what, where did you land on on surviving this encounter? Did you decide you're going to stick with them, or did you decide you were going to take yourself out of the equation? I've committed uh, I've committed suicide uh, with my rope, and so I just I don't want to testify against my friends, so I'm dead. Wow. So you, do you go back to Clark, or do you go off with yourselves and this dwarf and this map and try to find the treasure for yourself? Oh, you know what? I, the treasure, and we go. Listen, now that Bloopsy's dead, I've kind of lost heart. A little bit. And <laughs> no, you're so Canadian. Come on, hop uh, on, hop on my back. I'll carry you. I've suffered so much loss. I don't want to. I don't want to have. I'm just going to wrap up this job. And, and when I bring these guys in, I put the map down and the dwarf down. I'm going to say, I'm out. I mean it this time. Nice. Oh my God, that's Great. beautiful. I pick right. up the god dang map. I pick up that map and I take it and I put it in my little pocket and I walk off a happy camper. I'm the only win-win situation in this situation. You guys. And I'll be calling <laughs> after you. Arnold, you don't what know how to waste. read. What a waste you commit suicide. And you, you go back to Ottawa. Give me a break. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's a beautiful city, sir. <laughs> so as we, as we wrap on this adventure, we leave with... Arnold wandering the hillside endlessly, trying to find the, where this map leads to. Uh, we end with Jolene going back. You know, what, is, what does Jolene do in their retirement? Uh, he, he wasn't really planning. He thought it was just gonna be a job like any other. And he just, uh. he lost so much. He's just gonna be, uh, you know, tossing back, uh, you know, fermented honey in, in little mushroom cups. Talking about his glory days? I, I was somebody once. And that is that is where we will we will end our adventure with a dead robe, uh, a dead on the inside goblin, and another goblin who will never find the cave. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, so much for this ridiculous Riley. ridiculous encounter. <laughs> Riley, thank you for putting up with us. Thank you, oh, Riley. My pleasure. That's all the time we have. Thank you again to Flula Borg, Michael Rooker, and Nathan Fillion. And make sure you go see the Suicide Squad in theaters on August sixth. Um. um. Riley, do you think they'll be able to use any? Of oh, I don't. I, I think we, I think we stopped a while ago, but that's fine. I'm having oh, fun. Yeah. If you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs>